You're seriously worried and panicking because you've had Botox, but now you suspect that you've got either a wonky eye or a droopy eyelid slash eyebrow, and you don't know what to do because you just can't go to work looking like this. Follow these steps straight away. Number one, I know it's difficult, but the more you panic, the more you're gonna wind yourself up and do something stupid, so try to calm down. And don't be an idiot that takes advices from places like Facebook or Twitter. Your doctor's degree and a Google search are not the same thing. Number two, try to work out whether it's the eyeball itself that's affected or a droopy eyelid slash brow. If it's a wonky eye, then one eyeball won't be moving in sync with the other and you've probably got some sort of double vision or blurred vision. If it's a droopy brow or lid, then one eye might look smaller than the other because the brow and lid together on top are gonna look too heavy. Number three, once you've done this, take a picture of yourself looking straight on to show the heaviness on one side. If it's the eye itself instead of the brow and lid, then looking straight on, take a video of yourself trying to move both eyes in sync with each other in different directions to show which one isn't moving symmetrically with the other. Number four, once you've got that photo or video, you need to send it to whoever injected you so they can work out the diagnosis. If it's a heavy lid, then we can use something like one to two drops of aproclonidine into the eye around one to three times a day. Sometimes we can also use bromonidine gel by rubbing a pea-sized amount into the droopy eyelid itself. And even after just an hour, you can see a rise of a couple of millimeters for immediate relief. If neither of those don't improve the situation, then unfortunately, you're probably looking at waiting it out until the Botox wears off. Number five, try and figure out the link between the injection points you had and the symptoms in case it helps the clinician that treated you. Think about where the Botox was actually injected and then see how that's linked to the exact symptom that you have by clicking on this video here.